Hi, in this video I will be taking you on a guided tour of Swarashala. Swarashala is a complete Indian music software that allows you to learn about Indian classical music, uh, practice your instrument or vocals with live accompaniment and to compose songs with no less than 76 Indian instruments. Uh, I'll not be going too much into details as far as learn section is concerned uh, because we already have a specific video on that called Swar Tutorial. Swar Tutorial is also included in Swar Shala but you can of course also purchase it as a separate item. In Swar Shala Extra Edition you have a tutorial on North Indian classical music called Hindustani and one for South Indian classical music called Carnatic. These two traditions are very different and therefore could not be covered in a single tutorial. If you click on Hindustani, it will launch the North Indian tutorial that gives you an in-depth knowledge of both the melodic and rhythmic aspects of this ancient art form. Again, I will give you a more detailed description of this tutorial in a separate video so you may want to check that out if you are interested in the subject. All I can say is that this tutorial is extremely rich with content in not only text but it also has lots of audio video demos so it's a very nice way to get to know about Indian classical music. Ok, we'll now switch to the practice pane. Here you can customize three different practice sessions that you can use to practice along with virtual Indian musicians. Here you can select the rhythmic or the melodic instrument you want to use and uh, you can play them independently. Say if you learn tabla, you can play harmonium cycle with tanpura Or if you learn sitar, you can mute the melodic instrument and just play the uh, tabla cycle and if you just want to jam with the electric guitar or piano, then feel free to do that also. Well, uh, it can be useful to see the cycle as it plays. So uh, for that you can simply click on the sequence view. The practice session can be fully customized as to the pitch you want to use. Uh, the tempo you can increase or decrease the tempo and also increase the tempo uh, at regular intervals for example you may want to increase the tempo every four cycles or every eight cycles so you can define it here and uh, Swarshala will do that automatically we have tried to include very realistic rhythms and melodies but if you are practicing for a long time and you want to add a little human modulation you may want to use this humanize button. What you can do here is you can tweak these parameters like volume, pitch, swing um, and it makes uh, random changes to each cycle. In this way each cycle will play a little different from the other. Fine, now we'll come to the largest part of Swarshala which is the compose pane. This is where you can not only create or customize rhythms and melodies but also create complete multi-track songs with all the Swarshala items. In this compose section we will be dealing with both components and compositions. Components are like loops or fills that can be used in compositions. Compositions are multi-track songs. You can view the default composition by clicking on uh, the track sub tab. If you want to make changes to the rhythms and melodies you can go to the sequence tab and tweak the individual uh, loops and fills. Here you have the list of the available instruments. I'll select tabla. As you can see this shows the list of available sequences in a tree view. Swarshala comes with thousands of such sequences spread across the different instruments. When you select a sequence, you can see the exact structure of the rhythm in the sequence view. As you can see, each sequence has a number of cells and each cell has a specific stroke or a combination of strokes. And also there are a number of other parameters for each cell like specific volume, pitch. If I play the sequence, you will see the progression directly on the screen which can be very useful. Ok, I will now create a new tabla sequence from scratch uh, which I will then use in a new composition. For that I will select the tabla base in the drop down list and I'll go to my personal components folder. 
uh, here I have one folder called my components uh, here I will create a new sequence for that you have to just go to the components menu choose insert sequence and I'll name it uh, say sequence number three uh, I want this sequence to be an 8 bit sequence and I want to wrap the cells uh, from 4th beat so it will create a sequence with 8 beats and because I have defined wrap at 4 so it will create 2 rows uh, with 4 cells in each row I can define the other parameters of the sequence like, uh, like gharana, style, composer in fact these fields are very important for the classification purpose from and to tempo define for which tempo this sequence must be shown in practice panel we can keep all these fields as they are since we are just creating a new loop okay so here I have my new sequence of 8 beats wrapped at 4 uh, as specified I don't need to enter my strokes now there are two ways to do that the first way is by typing the stroke name uh, in the cell like this what I'll do is I'll double click on the first cell and now I can type the stroke so I'll type the DHA I'll now press tab and this will take me to the next cell here I can type uh, let's say NA I'll again press tab and this will take me to the third cell and I'll again type NA now I don't want this second NA to be on the second beat exactly but I want it to be on the second and half beat so I can just split this second cell I'll just click on the cell and I'll choose split cell now this will split the cell into two parts since I already had a NA on the second beat uh, splitting the cell gives me two NAs uh, I want to keep only the second one so first one I can remove the first one if I press uh, if I enter hyphen yes now I'll enter Tira Kita on the fourth beat so I can type T-I-R-E-K-I-T-E -E. now Tira Kita is a combination of four strokes uh, which are basically played on one beat so as I enter Tira Kita it automatically assigns it to just that one cell now there is another way you can add strokes to the cells uh, you can drag the strokes from the left side tree view and you can drop them on the cells so uh, I'll try to grab one of these strokes and I can drop it onto the cell now I'll enter the other strokes for the remaining beats so I'll enter a ta on the fifth beat and uh, I want a na on the sixth and half beat so I'll split the sixth cell and I'll enter na on the sixth and half beat uh, I'll enter a na again on the seventh beat and a dha on the eighth beat. Now let's play the sequence. This sounds fine to me, uh, except that I would like to change the eighth beat. Now right now the 8th beat is playing a combined stroke called dha. If I go into the properties of dha, I can see that uh, right now it's playing a pressed ge on the left hand drum and it's playing na on the right hand drum. So instead of a pressed stroke, I would like a sliding stroke on the left hand drum. So I can choose uh, sliding ge. Now let's play it. Now this sounds fine to me, except that uh, I don't want the right hand stroke on this. So I can just go to the properties again and I can remove the right hand na stroke. Now let's play it again. Now this sounds okay to me, except that uh, I want the 8th beat to be not so loud. So I can again go to the properties and I can set the emphasis of the sliding gay to minus 8. 
Now let's play it. Yes, this is okay. Now let me increase the tempo a bit. Uh, 160, yeah, that'll do. Yes, this sounds good. <laughs> 